Welcome to the Unification Series for Workers and Resources Soviet Republic. We're picking up on the 12th of March, 1962. And we managed to get a fair amount done, but more importantly, we haven't actually had a major fire, which is quite significant. Now, obviously, we've still got a lot more um, building to do. So in this part, I want to do a couple of things. I want to push out the road this way to make some connections to our potential border crossings there also i feel that i need to rework these roads a bit so that we can get a good connection on this side because i'm starting to think that i would like to use some nato trucks if possible another thing i want to do is sort out this junction because i was looking at this just before starting the video and I think this is going to be our construction industry out here. We've got some gravel, but there's one slight cause for concern, which means we might need to go prospecting because somewhere in this area is coal and iron. And I want to make sure I know where it is, even if I can't develop it just at the moment. So we're going to do a little bit of prospecting as well. And I'll explain what prospecting is in a little while. But first, I'm just going to give you an update. Uh, on the positive side, we have now built our sewer line down to the, the um, for disposal down in this area. It was a little bit of a challenge, but I got there in the end. You can see also we've now finished the heating pipe out to this way. Uh, we've nearly finished the our initial water supply as well. The one problem I did have is I didn't realise that this was out of range of my power supply. So I've had to put in another substation there. We've, the fire station is complete. The bus platform is complete here. We've uh, The shopping mall is ready to go. And I think that's about it. Oh, and the other thing also is I've built most of the waste dumps the reason for that is that i wanted to make sure that i had the good coverage and i actually it turns out that i've got a little bit of overlap but uh personally i prefer overlap over the <laughs> the other option of having gaps so that's something else i'm just going to speed the game up because we've got a long way to go yet but there are there were a couple of gaps there's one here one over there this one isn't quite finished yet so and there's also a bit of a problem in this area so i've put another one in as well so we got there another thing i want to do in this part is we're going to put in some uh the uh what we call it the loyalty statues as well because we need to start planning those although to be honest we don't need to go over the top to begin with simply because uh loyalty is something that we need to build up over time so we've got this area is going quite well. Um, we need to work on our heating plant. One thing I did take a decision on was actually getting this road built here. I just want to make sure. Yeah, for some reason these are working on too. I think what I will do is this is the one with all the dumpers. I want to get you working on there although i think this guy's providing enough the reason i want to do asphalt this is i suddenly realized that i've got to get coal out here to my heating plant so uh, i think that having this done is quite important i've also made good progress with building the second line out here although we still need to finish off this area uh, the other thing I need to consider is um, a water distribution for our batteries. I'm working this. Now, another cause for concern, which I'm kind of trying to think where I could put it, is what we're going to do with the waste. Because obviously we can start by selling it at the border, but you can see here we're already starting to get a little bit of congestion, which is going to be a possible cause for concern. So I might have to go for the messy solution, which if anyone's not sure what the messy solution is, the messy solution is effectively um, uh, kind of just piling it all up in dumps in the short term. We can certainly do that with hazardous waste because 
uh, our only real source of hazardous waste is going to be the hospital and we're not going to produce that much to, from the get-go so that is something else that we do need to consider now something else I want to put in while I'm actually thinking about it is I want to plan as my second university and I want to put in a small technical office at the technical university and what we're going to do is put this over here although um, I'm just wondering if I put it there although we we may need that for water infrastructure the alternative is we put it over there actually I'm just wondering if I put it out here it gives me good coverage and I'm wondering actually is this actually connected yeah it is connected I'm wondering actually we put it there that puts us in direct contact with the waste disposal there I think we'll put the technical university just here um I'm just going to put you actually yeah we'll put you there and then just hook you through with that like that and then what that means is that this waste dump will service the technical university top tip here guys when you're actually planning um, when you put a university any building like this that has a high, a high level of density make sure you put a waste container here because these produce a lot of waste now the reason i put a technical uh, we'll put a technical university in is if i come and show you here one area that we're going to need to work towards relatively quickly is um where is it down here not there is waste separation we're going to need to get to here relatively quickly what that will do is allow us to start managing our waste disposal uh, because if I show you the waste disposal we have got a small incinerator which we could put down here which would be a good um, start but the other thing we're going to need but what we don't have is, is access to the recycling plant so if we put this in to, from the get-go, we would have to put some form of storage so we could burn it. The trouble is, is we've already got more than enough jobs around here that could cause us enough problems. So that is something that we do need to consider. Anyway, what I'm going to do now is we're going to put some uh, monuments in. Uh, where is it? Uh, now one of my favorite ones is uh is this one but we can't use it so i'm not sure what the eternal flame obelisk actually is is this new um, we could put the ones at the top here are from the ukrainian dlc 4.5 2.8 2.8 i think what we're going to do is go for good old statues of lenin I think if I can get these in oh look at that that's brilliant because his range is uh, it actually doesn't give it says 90 meters so I think if we put him if we tuck him in about there and again I'm just going to use I don't want to waste and then what we can do is look at the range. He will cover most of this area here. What is here? Oh, this is a small garbage disposal. I don't think that's actually... Yes, it has. So we've got Lenin there. I'm just wondering if we can get Lenin in this corner. We'd definitely get him in this area but i'd like to get him on this corner here i mean to begin with we don't really need massive coverage but one area i do want to cover is 
places where um, residents may linger. So a good place could be just here. Um, okay, and I'm just going to tuck Lenin on the corner here. But I'm very short. So that will cover this flat here, the kindergarten, and the place of culture. Uh, I think I would really like, but possible, to put one in the centre here somewhere as well to cover these buildings, especially the university, which is the here. Um, we do have actually oh, we got some footpaths here that look a bit messed up. So I think we're just try and tidy this up a little bit. Um, I think if I can I get an asphalt, I think we're going to put an asphalt footpath there. Just make sure we can do the connection before we can build it. That can come there. That can come out there. That can come there. Across there. And then we could put a little bit of a connector to there yeah I think that will work get our road crew on that um, and then I wonder if we could put in when this is the uh, party HQ so we could get in a statue no uh, I might have outsmarted myself here uh, <laughs> No, we may have a bit of a problem in the centre here. Uh, I mean, here's another good potential shot is just here. Because we've got the bus station there where people will come to quite regularly. So if we put that in just there. I mean, building these statues are going to be way down the priority list. What we need to do is just keep working on what we got let me just I want to check All right at the moment we're building in this area uh, we're gonna certainly need this one and this one as well because we've got to get workers out to the water um, in fact let me just check something yeah we, we can get the workers out there but we also need workers to get to the fire station, so you're going to need that as well. Right, so this road is now finished. That means these guys probably don't have any work to do. Um, um, I think what I'd like to do is push you out here. you to work to there so I would like an asphalt road all the way out there right so I think we've now got most things done and so I think we'll start with the easy stuff this is now finished so what I want to do I'm wondering oops Wait. Got a road connection there. It's a little bit messy, but I think I can live with it. I think I will complete that. Get you on that as well. Now, what I want to do is push for this which one trying to think because what we're going to have to do here is build some bridges now there's two ways we can do this one is we could build a bridge across to here or a bridge and then a bridge across to here 
or the alternative is uh, what we can do is build a big bridge in fact a bit tempted to build it from the get-go is we need something that will gain a lot of height so so for example because whoops Um, I'm going to build you across to there. The reason I'm putting a lot of height on this bridge, in fact, it's probably a lot higher than it, whoops, than it should be, is simply the fact that uh, I want to be able to cover the dis. Uh, I want to make guarantee that I can get ships underneath that. Um, And then I'll drop you down once. So we're going to build a uh, now again, as I've mentioned in the first video, I think I will make that asphalt. The reason being is for this to work properly, we will need to make this actually as an asphalt road, and I think what we're going to do is build an asphalt that way now um, I want to come out reasonably straight from the get-go we use the snapping then we're of this road over that way get you to about there connect you to there so that gives us that connection there now we've got I originally I ran this road up here I don't really like it because I think it might cause problems later on so we're going to shift there out all these roads here. Plus, if I show you the contours, the contours have made a bit of a problem here. In fact, I'm kind of thinking here, I need a, a little bit of tidying up to do. Uh, let me just see. Uh, I think I might have made myself a bit of a problem here. So, ah. So we're going to use the old is yes, we're just going to correct that problem there by just but at the same time I don't want uh, we've got the I think I think for the moment I think if I take this road, come out there, curve you. Actually, no, I want to come out way past like that because we'll probably create a road here because I want to put distribution offices there. And then I think we're. Um, run this road down here and you can connect to there then we can build this in oh, I, sh I should have done it as mud but that's okay because we can put the distribution offices there um what this will do is give us a road connection to the border and once this is built we can then bring in nato vehicles um Uh, I'm gonna push that to high priority because this doesn't seem to want to get built. We've got a gas station here. I want built as well. This is going to be quite important because the most a lot of the traffic 
well basically we're going to get traffic through here and traffic through here so i've put in a gas station there and a gas station here um this needs big garbage yeah it's just a question of grinding our way through these buildings right so the next thing i want to do is what i'm going to do is be a little bit sneaky because i don't want my road crew out here we're going to break that little bit there so i want to plan this in asphalt but I don't want it built just yet. So I so I don't want the crews running out here building this at the moment. So by not giving them a connection, the auto detect won't work. Um just run you round there and we're going to do exactly the same over here with this road and then I need to build you in there view in there and because these roads will have to be asphalt um now, we're running into this area here. I want my construction industry there. But do I need a dual carriageway? I doubt it very much. So I'm going to pull you back like that. Right, so what I'm going to do now is see if I can plan in the actual road junction. I'm just going to accept that. Now, this is going to be... Uh, this, might, this might be a little bit too messy. Actually change of plan I think I think I want you to come out straight for a short distance and then start to curve like that Right, so the first thing I'm going to need is uh, we're going to need the one-way roads and we've got to come off like that you've got to come there you've got to come there because that's the one-way road that wants to go that way Now, that's the one that goes that way. Um, this one, the, the traffic coming this way needs to come up here and come this way. Not going to be perfect um, because it's the junction itself is a little bit skew with. Now this one has got to come out like that. A little bit, oops, a little bit further. No, you're not going to play, are you? Don't like that. Um, so the traffic coming up here will come that way. I think we might be able to tidy this up a little bit. Now we've got... Maybe I need to... That's what I should have done in the first place. Um... We'll make the excuse that this is a traffic break. 
And then the traffic coming up here needs to come up here. And you need that connection there. The traffic coming up here can come round. Actually, that's not right, is it? That's wrong. Um, this is the right-hand side, isn't it? But uh, let me just see. You need to go that way. Which comes up that way. You, the traffic, right hand traffic there, left hand traffic, but the, um, does that make sense? Let me just check. <laughs> oh yeah, this one needs to come off this way. Because the traffic that wants to go back this way, that's it. Yeah, traffic that have, has come up here that wants to go that way needs to go around that way to go that way. Traffic coming this way needs to come around this way to go this side. Traffic that wants to go this way has to come around there. And traffic that wants to go come up here and come back over the bridge come that way then what we need next now we got to accommodate the traffic that comes off here uh, I think you guys can follow the road through there you can connect to there so the traffic coming here that want to go that way can go that way this bit is a little bit easier um, kind of make it look like an organic spider can I so you can come that way this one's going to need a little bit more of a sharper turn you can come up here through here and you can connect to there then you can come off there down there and connect to there that should be right right hand traffic going to right hand right, right hand traffic going to right hand right hand going to right hand right hand going to right hand so that now gives us this junction here so <laughs> i just want to scoot back and see what oh uh we've got a potential problem here um, I need that rail line. Uh, can we get you through here? Yep, nearly made a mistake there, but we've got away with it. Right, so we've now got this area here. I just want to come back and see what's going on over here. This guy, these guys have built this. Uh, I think I'd like to asphalt in there first. You guys can make that connection there. How are we doing? Is this road crew? Looks like these guys have got nothing to do now. Right, so I think we can put them to work. Ideally, I think I want to make that connection. So we get them working on that. That should mean that all the footpaths and everything in this area should now be finished, including the one that we put in. So, I just want to, just, I think what I might do is we're going to take a chance 
on that for an asphalt connection. Because we've got what we've got is the option for a what we call it here, a mud footpath. One thing I would like is I think we're gonna push I think what I think oh let me just see. I think we're gonna try and get this one finished so that we can get more construction going on. This needs to be built as well. Because one thing we do need out here is gas. Or oh, at least one gas station functional. Right. Uh I th Um I keep thinking about this and maybe I do need to build it. We've got power here. I'm getting a bit twitchy because one thing that I haven't built is water loading unloading station. Um it says can't build you to infrastructure. Um I don't really want that there, but at the same time as I don't want this, I would love to have put that in there, but it's not going to work, is it? Right, I think, well, we could put water in here. So, if say for example, but that's going to make the pipes a bit longer than they should be. Okay, maybe we'll tuck you in about there. Actually, it'd be better that side because then the connections would be on the right side. Uh, all right, we're going to put you there. This is more of a backup. Um, uh, I'm going to put a mud road in to begin with. And then what we'll do is get underground. I think what I'm going to do is we haven't we built this yet. No. All right, we're just going to do a little bit of a change here. Uh, I'm going to take you off of there. Put you to there. Pick you, drop you down. A little bit worried about that connection, but... And then we're going to hook you to there. Now, the problem with that is that what's going to happen is that we will need to put a waste disposal in as well. But we'll come back to that. Right. Now I'm going to go prospecting. Now, I know some of you will say that this is cheating because uh, uh, it's a way of detecting coal and iron and oil before it's actually researched. But um, what I'm, I want to do is just make sure that when I plan my construction industry up here, that I don't get an overlap. Now, to go prospecting, what we need is to find a coal mine. Now, I know the coal mine is somewhere in this area. Um, what you need to do is just, maybe it's more this way. Um, I know it's definitely not in that area. It's, I'm pretty sure it's along these ridge lines. Oops, we got a little bit. No, that's just the building. Okay. Uh, I don't think it's out this far. Oh, wow. Why did I put this out here? This is going to be a bit of a problem. Actually, there's a lot more coal than I thought there'd be as well. Right. What I'm going to do. That's 39%. I mean, it's not massive. The best is 41. Right, I'm going to put a coal mine there. I'm not worried about building it. I just want to know where it is. Uh, I wonder if... Oh, wow. Okay. Um, I must admit, I really thought it was over here. But obviously, top tip here, guys. If you're going to go prospecting, do it in the dark. <laughs> because you can find things a lot quicker. Right, that's 38%. Right, 
Right. When we'll put the iron mine there. That's a little bit of a turn up for the book. And could be a, well, it's not a problem now. I know it's there, but I was actually planning on putting the gravel <laughs> here. Uh, but maybe we've got that road coming this way. We've got some gravel deposits here. Maybe I could push the gravel up into this area. Look at that, we've got 70% there. 92%, wow. I think we're going to put a gravel collection point there. I didn't realise that I'd made these so easy to place. Bit of a mistake there, guys, but one thing you do need to be aware of is that just because you've got that doesn't necessarily mean that you've got a road connection. Um, all right, we're going to plan a road out there. Uh, bring a road from there. I think I'm going to start with two quarries because we've got plenty of options over there. I think we're going to come that way. Bring the road around there. Run you to there. You can connect to there. And then... Now we know the coal mine is there. Um, I'm just going to trim this back. Because we know that these junctions here are going to be... I don't think that it's not going to make any difference, is it? Um, I think I'm going to put a road running out it's straight there you can make the connection there and then I think we're going to go with a kind of uh, gritty type section here um, I think what I'm inclined to do here is this could get a little bit busy so um i think no no i think we'll build proper junctions here because then i can put priority systems in should i need them and then you and i think we're gonna have to curve you take you off like that no nope, that's not well we can fix this can't we no, actually no Um, I think we're going to curve you like that so that that road coming in will make that connection there I'm not going to worry about the coal mine but so we've now got so we've now worked out where our gravel industry is going to be the next thing we're going to need is a, a what we call it, a large aggregate store. And we've got some really impressive ones here. I like these because what these have got is lots of inputs and outputs. And they act, they're a lot more kind of easier to configure than the, uh, the ones that the original ones for the game. But we'll, let's just see what we've got. Got a thousand tons, two thousand five hundred. Oh, actually, I quite like this one simply because it's got a. It's, it's it looks neater. Is probably the the best way to describe this. And this is where I am going to use a mod, simply because I do really like my conveyor engines if I can find them <laughs> there they are did I build the wrong quarries I think I've just built the wrong quarries um, let me just clear those away uh, what I want out here is the big quarries okay this may cause uh, a little bit of a complication it's not a problem because we're only in planning phase at the moment uh, I thought I was building I think it's this one, is it? 
yeah these this is the one i'm after but this is now haha <laughs> oh okay i knew it was too easy we know that the quarry will be out here but we're going to need a destruction office out there with some excavators in but that's way down the priority list so we're gonna have to come back and think about that in another way how are we doing here this still needs to be built what's do I have the... I need this built. Um, otherwise it's just not going to work. I need more workers, but I don't think I've got them. This is high propriety. Okay. I think I'm going to just need the guys to kind of catch up here now. How are we doing over here? This has been built. That's good. Um, we're going to build this into there and you're going to be assigned that starting to think that we might be able to um, start building out this way although my inclination um, the problem is if I build this out here, oh, we could. How's the bridge coming here? It's not, is it? Right, I'm going to have a change of plan here. This is going to take a lot of building. But I think it, it will be worth it in the long run. don't like that at all that's no good there's something here that's uh, uh, I don't like at all try again that's better um, this could be a problem uh, actually just let's just of course these are these are the asphalt roads what am I on about haha <laughs> sorry bit of a brain fade there I forgot what I was planning you can run there you can run to there that takes this all the way to there. Um, oh, I'm going to remove this section. And then what we're going to do is we're going to get the road crew working on that. And this is a gravel road. Um, I want this built more than anything else, I think, so that we can start planning our industry out here. I know it's really on a grand scale, but um, I do feel if we got the where am I going? Where am I going to build my steel industry? Oh. I feel I don't need this road. I'll get rid of you. Get that. Remove that. My instinct is to come down here so we've got plenty of there, but um, it's going to put a lot of pressure on our workforce here when we're not really building anything here at the moment. Uh, oops, helps if I actually unpause as well. Yeah, I think if we build a single track road out here, get this built as well so that we can 
get out to here. I think if I can get a gravel industry going, that would be really good. Don't seem to be building anything at the moment. What are my bus crews working on? Nothing. Um, why are you not building anything? A uh, bit of a fail there. Apologies for that. What's up with the... I think we've got a bit of a, a desync now between what these guys are providing resources for. Yeah, you don't seem to be wanting to build these. For some reason, I'm not sure how, what will happen there. Yep. I think what we've done is we've done a lot of the groundworks. Um, oh, we do need that built. I'm not sure whether that the crew will work on that. We will try and see if we can get that built. It might be a little bit too short. We may have to put a road crew on it. Um, that's been built. Right. I think I, I need to make a decision on garbage. Let's have a look at what we can do from a dumping point of view. We can put it over here, which is a long way away. We've got the transfer there. We've got a dump with claw machine. We don't really want that. We've got a free dump. Um, we could use some free dumps. Uh, that might be an option. Medium. That's 140 tons of waste. Say we put, we're going to need two of these. I think what we'll do is we'll put one there, one there. And is, we're going to put an incinerator. Yeah, I think we'll put an incinerator right um, I've got a new plan here. I think if we come this way, put you to there, you to there, you to there, you to there. Right, well, let these guys work on these bits of road. They can build in this area here. Then we can put our separation and recycling stuff, wherever it is here. We've got a little bit of space here for it as well. And what we will do is you're going to be hazardous waste only. And then you are going to be mixed waste. And this would be our initial dumping site. Um, it'll fill up very, very quickly, so we may have... But I think if we just go for dumping here to begin with, we may get away with it. Yeah, we need to build that out that way. Okay, new vehicle available. That looks very much like a... Uh, no, it wasn't the fact. Right, so I think what I'm going to do now is rather than bore you with uh, trying to think of things to talk about, what I'm going to do now is call the video here. Uh, apologies, it's a slight bit shorter than I would normally do. And what we're going to, I'm going to do is see if we can build in some of buildings here. Now, my main concern at the moment is that we're on the, in July 1962. And one thing you never want to do is... Um, populate a town with winter coming the ideal time to populate a town is actually uh, in the spring preferably the late spring around May so that you can get your workforce settled in before the heating becomes a bit of a problem so what I'm going to do is I'm going to call the video here and then I'm going to play through to March 1963 and I won't do any planning I'm just going to concentrate exclusively on building so that hopefully in 1963 we will finally get residents moving in and we'll actually get some stuff done. So until next time, whatever you do, enjoy your gaming.